Hi, rock stars. It's Amy, and I am back for the 12 days of Plexus. Today is day 11. So if you're just joining us, um, I have been going live every day for 12 days to share product information, ingredients, science, clinical studies, chat with you on whether or not you need it, if it's something you should try, answer questions. So today, I am back with day 11, and today I am going to talk about this little powerhouse that is Plexus Edge. It's one of our cleanest supplements. It only has three ingredients, and I want to talk about what makes it so incredible and decide whether or not you need it. So I know not many people might be on because it's Christmas Eve. Eve, many people are traveling. My dad is um, at the airport now picking up my husband, so they're on their way back. So I know a lot of people may not be on, so that's okay. But remember, for the 12 days, all you have to do is comment on all 12 days, and then we are going to do a drawing, and we're going to be giving away one of every product we talk about. Hey, Debbie. And if you've been following along, we actually have talked about all the products. So we're going to be giving away one of every single Plexus product. Um, all you got to do is comment on all 12. Everyone who comments on all 12, your names will go into a hat and we will draw. So let's talk about Edge, though. What, can you see it? I know the light's kind of funky. What is Plexus Edge? It is our energy supplement. It's also our supplement for mood, concentration, and focus. But I want to talk a little bit about that. Why would you need an energy supplement, especially when <coughs> you're on the triplex and you've already kicked your coffee habit maybe, right? So here's the thing, guys. Our bodies are actually made to have energy without caffeine, right? It's actually made when it's functioning as it should. Our bodies are made to have energy without some sort of supplement. But because of our lifestyle, because we are on the go, many of us do not get the amount of recommended sleep that we need. I mean, eight to 10 hours. Who gets eight to 10 hours of sleep, right? So yeah. sometimes beyond the triplex, you need a little energy boost. In fact, guys, listen, there is an energy crisis in America. Did you know that? One third of adults say they do not have enough energy to perform their daily tasks. 85% of Americans wake up already tired, right? So if you're waking up tired, that's bad. You should be waking up refreshed after sleeping. 53% of adults report feeling sluggish during the day. And listen to this, guys. This is incredible. I mean, it's insane. The energy drink industry last year was a $9.9 billion dollar industry just last year that's more than like the NFL I mean that's incredible 9.9 .9 billion dollars in one year on energy drinks so that tells us we are tired and look I'm about to give you the lowdown on energy drinks and I'm about ready to smack your hand but I want you to know I'm a covering energy drink junkie um, so if you do spark Red Bull monsters five-hour energies any of those you need to put them down. They are terrible for you. They are so, so, so bad. Um, and here's why. Energy drinks, even like Spark tells you it's got uh, vitamins in it, but those vitamins are all synthetic. It's junk. The chemicals that are in these energy drinks are bad for you. The taurine, all of these artificial colors, Sweeteners, I mean, if you're drinking an energy drink that's blue, that's not a natural color. All right, all of that wreaks havoc on our guts and just further um, leads to all of those health issues that stem from a leaky gut. The other thing, guys, if you ever get an energy drink and it says that it has caffeine on the label and it says caffeine, that is synthetic. Yeah, we're going to talk about using Edge as a pre-workout. I love that. A lot of people like it as a pre-workout. So let's talk really quickly about natural caffeine versus synthetic caffeine. If there's anything you grab, um, you gra go grab a Mountain Dew, which hopefully none of you guys are drinking pop. Go get a Mountain Dew. Go get anything. If it has caffeine on the label, that's synthetic. All right? If it's natural caffeine, it has to tell you what that is. Edge happens to be Coffee Robusta, natural caffeine. Huge difference. Natural caffeine has just that steady increase of energy, no crash, no dependency. Synthetic caffeine gives you the crash, and it's, it gives you that dependency on it, okay? Um, 
synthetic caffeine, that's why you feel like you need that Red Bull or that's why you feel like you need that spark every morning to get going, it's because it has a dependency. Now, even natural caffeine, it is a powerful drug, even the natural stuff, okay? So even coffee. And coffee also um, builds in your system, meaning what you once only needed one cup of coffee for, after you've been doing it for a while, you might need a whole pot, right? So I'm gonna tell you why this is more than just a natural caffeine supplement. There's two ingredients in this that make it incredible, and that's theocrine and L-theanine. So really quickly, again, you can find all of this in your back office, a lot of it's on the website, or you can log in, and there's an information sheet about Plexus Edge with all of the stats, when you can take it, all of the ingredients, right? So this one is clinically proven. We love that word. Plexus loves, loves, loves their research. Clinically proven for sustained energy, sharper thinking, improved mood, enhanced concentration and focus. It's equivalent to only one cup of coffee. Look, I'm drinking one now. It's cold out, snowing, like my cup of coffee, right? And also, like all of our products, it's gluten-free, 100% vegetarian, and non-GMO. Now, the I'm going to talk about those ingredients here in a minute, all right? But what I want you guys to know is that um, caffeine is still a pretty powerful drug. But like I said, this is different than your standard cup of coffee, okay? And I'm going to tell you how to take this whether you need it, and how some people have used it. So, like I said, caffeine, even in its natural form, so coffee is a natural source of caffeine. Coffee Robusta is a natural source of caffeine. Anything that says caffeine on the label is not. It's synthetic. It's made in a lab. It's with chemicals. But it's a powerful drug, okay? Did you know they actually use pure natural caffeine to resuscitate babies? That's how powerful a drug it is. So, But the caffeine in this is a little different. It's a pure form of caffeine, but it's those other two ingredients that make it amazing. Now, one thing about Edge, you will not build up a tolerance to it. So unlike your cup of coffee, where one cup used to be enough, but now maybe you need a whole pot. I mean, that was me. I got to the point where I was drinking two pots of coffee a day. This will not, um, uh, you will not build a tolerance up to that. And it's because it's got those two other ingredients, right? Now, you might get a little jittery until your body gets used to it. And you really want to take it with food because your body actually should metabolize caffeine. And when you take it with food, that helps um, your body to metabolize it better. Now, not just any food. You actually want to take it with some fat and some carbs because the way your body metabolizes fats and carbs through the liver, then this is going to stay around longer. If you're doing low carb and high protein, you're not going to get the same effects of this, right? So don't do a protein shake and then take your edge. Actually have a meal. And this is one of those things that your body may need to get used to it. So do not take it once or twice and tell me it's not for you, right? Remember, that's why we have that 60-day money-back guarantee take it for more than one or two days because your body has to get used to metabolizing and using these two amino acids, okay? So give your body time to get used to it. Let's talk, though, about the ingredients and timing. You can take this anytime throughout the day. I'm going to tell you, though, I like to take mine around two, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But first, let's talk about theocrine. Okay, that's one of the, so this only has three ingredients in it, other than the ingredients that are in the capsule. This has theocrine, L-theanine, and natural caffeine, which is the coffee robusta. So let's go through those, okay? So theocrine, it's actually sourced from the kucha tea leaf, all right? So it's from a plant, and this is all clinically proven. It's long-lasting. It improves your mood. It decreases stress and irritability. It increases your motivation, and again, there's going to be no jitters, no crash, no habituation, no restlessness. And actually, um, the research shows when you pair theocrine with caffeine, it increases the efficacy of that caffeine, right? Now, the other thing about theocrine, it actually affects the dopamine in your brain. So dopamine is the, the part of your brain that affects your emotions, your sensations of pleasure and pain. There's five dopamine receptors in the brain, and when they're all functioning as they should, it regulates your mood, regulates your sleep, your cognition. And then when any of those receptors aren't firing, that's when you have 
some of those mood disorders. Well, theocrine actually boosts those dopamine levels in the brain. So that's how it helps with the mood regulation, sleep, and cognition, right? Pretty cool, huh? So the other thing, oh yeah, girl, like Edge, if you're nursing babies, teething twins, and you got babies at home, like, yeah, I wish I'd had this. Um, I didn't find Plexus. I didn't hear about Plexus until Adelaide was about 20 months old. Um, I was still nursing, but still. So L-theanine, that's the other ingredient. It's a naturally occurring amino acid. It's clinically proven, so what it does, it improves your memory and your ability to learn. So that's one reason why a lot of people um, with ADD or ADHD love EDGE, and I'll get into that here in just a second. But theanine, or theanine, however you pronounce it, is also the jitter buster. That's why, even though you might get the jitters at first while your body is just adjusting, this will not give you the jitters like a regular energy supplement will. And especially as a pre-workout, what a lot of people don't like about pre-workouts is, is it gives them like the jitters and then they have that restlessness afterwards. This will not. L-theanine has a calming effect. It passes through the blood-brain barrier in about 30 minutes, okay? But it's used for stress relief, anxiety, concentration, focus, cognitive impairment, L-theanine also improves test performance, right? So <laughs> here's the other thing I love about EDGE. EDGE is something um, that is unlikely to cause adrenal fatigue because of the L-theanine. So it's good for long-term use. Unlike other caffeine, caffeine alone causes adrenal fatigue. That's why it's a catch-22 when you have hypothyroidism. You're tired all the time. So you're chugging caffeine, but then you also don't realize the effect it has on your adrenals, and so then you're still constantly tired, right? And that's also why things like Boost, so Boost is our natural energy supplement as well, but it doesn't have L-theanine in it. So it will cause adrenal fatigue. That's why you have to take um, breaks on Boost. You do not have to take breaks on Edge. Now, sorry guys, there's some noise. Here, here with the family, we're in the kitchen. Um, so it can, one thing it can do though, l it, it can decrease your blood pressure. So you want to be cautious if you have a low blood pressure already, this can decrease it. And that might be why some people, when they take edge, they actually get sleepy. Okay. Now let's talk about the coffee robusta. That's the natural caffeine source. Coffee robusta are actually beans that have not been roasted. Okay. <laughs> the coffee robusta is the non-stimulant green coffee bean and it has a higher level of the chlorogenic acid and if you watch day one I talked about the chlorogenic acid in slim that's what we extract from the coffee bean to make flexa slim and because it has actually been proven to help with weight loss so the coffee robusta is in this now caffeine in general gets absorbed into your body tissues within 45 minutes but it stays for hours, okay? Pure natural caffeine stays for hours. So that's how you can have on edge, you can have the sustained energy, not the high and then not the crash. The half-life of caffeine is about four hours, um, but each person metabolizes it differently. Now, with Plexus Edge, <coughs> it's equivalent to one cup of coffee. So if you take it, you can still have your cup of coffee. That's not over the recommended daily dose, all right? But what you don't want to do, you do not, I don't recommend taking edge with accelerator or boost because then it is just too many stimulants. So um, my husband loves edge as his pre-workout. Um, he tried boost. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like the jittery feeling. He doesn't like the increased heart rate, um, but he likes this. Yeah, so Mandy just mentioned that she has her son on edge for his ADD. I'm going to talk about that. Many, 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 many people. Um, use EDGE for ADD, ADHD. Uh, so we have many, many people on medication for ADD, ADHD, adults and kids. A lot of that is tied to our gut health. A lot of this is tied to blood sugar regulation. So for some people, when they get on the triplex or when they give their kids slim, they see an improvement in their concentration. But for other people, they still need that medication. But if you go to your doctor, you go to your pediatrician, and you ask them about this, we have one doctor who absolutely loves this much better than the prescription medication 
that they're putting kids on for ADD and ADHD. So you only take one of these, one a day, that's it. It's a very, very clean supplement, and a lot of people love this for, like Mandy said, for ADD, ADHD. Um, my friend Lee, he loves this um, and just feels like for concentration and mood and all of that. So many, many people love it for something other than the energy, right? A lot of people take this for the concentration, the mood, the focus, the test taking. So it's really, really um, just a great, great supplement. Now, you can take it um, anytime. You can take it in the morning. You can take it midday. Uh, you can take it before a workout. You can take it on the weekends, right? Um, I personally, if I take it in the morning, I don't like it. And I think it's because I'm not a big breakfast eater. And remember I said you want to take it when you've eaten some fat and carbs. I'm not a big breakfast eater. So when I take this, it doesn't metabolize the same, and I feel kind of funky on it. I like it better. I take it around 2 o'clock, um, and I love it. I don't take it every day. Some people do. Um, but if I've had, like, a big lunch, that's when I'll take an edge. A lot of people, like I said, take it as a pre-workout. Steve loves it as a pre-workout. Now, I have a friend. He works out at the gym at night. He takes it around 8, and he it doesn't keep him up at night. So that's the other thing, too, is it's not going to give you that restlessness, that coffee or other caffeine would, even natural caffeine, because it's got that amino acid and that um, theocrine in it, right? So you can take Plet, you can take Edge with other Plexus products, except I just I recommend um, not taking it with Accelerator and or Boost, um, just because that would be a lot of stimulants. And yeah, so that is Plexus Edge. It is a great great supp supplement. Now you can buy this in the back office as a sample. If um, you wanted to, they have a sample pack where you get a couple days worth. But again, because your body needs to get used to metabolizing those three ingredients, don't take this one day and tell me you don't like it, you don't like how it made you feel. You need to take it more than a day. You need to give it time, give your body time. Then if you don't like it, that's fine. Some people, it's just too much for them. Um, it's just too much and they can't. They like Accelerator or something else. But it's a great, great product, and I love that you only need one of them. Listen, if you know somebody who's drinking Monsters and Red Bulls, they get that dependency, so they have to drink them all day long. This is different. It's one a day, and actually it's like pennies a day. If you price it out, I think this is like two cents versus however much an energy drink is. So anyway, if you know anyone, if you love anyone that drinks those energy drinks, Spark, Red Bull, Monster, Five Hours, any of those, look at the ingredients. Um, it's near impossible to get a clean energy drink because it's either going to have artificial sweeteners, aspartame, sucralose. <coughs> it's going to have chemicals like taurine, um, synthetic caffeine. It's really, really hard to find something natural unless you're going to do Plexus Edge. Um, a lot of people, too, who know police officers, first responders, they're doing night shifts. Anybody who has to work late into the night and need to be focused, get them on Plexus Edge. So that's it. That's day 11 of the 12 days of Plexus. Tomorrow is our last day. I know it's Christmas Eve Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I'm going to try to jump on really early tomorrow to get it out of the way before everybody starts their Christmas Eve um, festivities. The last product I'm going to talk about tomorrow is Mega X. It's our Omega that has zero fish oil in it. So thanks for hanging out with me. And remember, if you comment on all 12 days, you're going to get a chance to win one of every product. Bye, guys.